Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Now that FSW and CEC invitations are set to resume in July, and the processing time for new applicants is also expected to return to six months, I'm going to tell you how you can get your Canadian permanent residence through the CEC or the Canadian Experience class for free on your own without the need for any immigration lawyer or consultant. Because the required documentation is minimal, CEC applications are actually processed quickly, often within three to four months. The main highlights of the CEC are that you need just one year of work experience for it, there's no minimum education required, the language score required is just CLB5 for NOC B skill level jobs, and the processing time is set to return back to just six months, so it's much faster to get your PR compared to PNPs and study permit or work permit to PR conversions. Moreover, applicants can remain in Canada throughout their PR application process and even if they return to their home country, they can still apply from there as long as they submit their application within three years of leaving their Canadian jobs. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about the CECPR process, who can apply for it, what the requirements or eligibility criteria are, and how you can apply for it as well. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter so don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let me first tell you a little about the CEC and what it actually does. The CEC or Canadian Experience class was started in 2008 for the main purpose of offering an immigration pathway for candidates who have been working in Canada and want to get their permanent residence. The CEC is part of the Express Entry program, so you'll need to score a CRS score more than the cutoff score during the Express Entry draws, which are held roughly every two weeks. Now, the CEC is for NOC skill levels 0, A, and B. And it requires a lower CLB 5 for NOC B skill level jobs and CLB 7 for skill levels 0 and A. The minimum work experience required is also low at just one year, so it's really easy and fast to get your PR through this stream, especially with processing times resuming to 6 months now. How it works is candidates are selected based on a points based system, which may include various human factor selection points. For instance, you can score a maximum of 110 points for your age, a maximum of 50 points for foreign work experience, a maximum of 80 points for Canadian work experience, a maximum of 150 points for your education, 136 for your language test score, a maximum of 40 points for spousal factors, and a few bonus points for qualification certificates, French language tests, education completed in Canada, ties to Canada, and between 50 to 200 points for a Canadian job offer. The most recent CEC draw was held last year on September 14th, 2021, in which 2,000 candidates were sent an ITA. The cutoff score for this draw was just 462. Now coming to the main requirements or the eligibility criteria for the CEC class. The first and most important requirement is work experience. You need to have a minimum of one year of skilled professional or technical work experience in Canada within 36 months of the application date, which means that your work experience must be recent during the past three years of applying for this program. One year or 12 months of work experience is defined as at least 1,560 hours of skilled work experience in Canada. And these 1,560 hours can be obtained through full-time or part-time work. Now, although education is not required, if you want to score more points in your Express Entry profile, you'll need an ECA from WES or any other education evaluation agency if your education was completed outside Canada. An ECA is not required for any education completed in Canada. Next is your language test. You'll need at least CLB5 for NOC B level job experience and CLB7 for NOC skill levels 0 or A. You'll also need a plan to live and work outside Quebec, which is mostly fulfilled with your job location being anywhere in Canada except Quebec. For the province of Quebec, there's a separate Quebec experience class to apply if your work experience or education has been from Quebec. 
Now that you know all the requirements, let's move on to how you can apply for this EC. Since this EC is part of the Express Entry program, you would have to create an Express Entry profile just like you would for the FSWP or Federal Skill Worker program and receive an ITA for applying for your Canadian Permanent Residency. Now do remember that creating an Express Entry profile is absolutely free of cost and everything can be done yourself. You don't need any agent or consultant for it. It's really easy to do and you can create your profile really quickly. The whole profile creation process won't take you more than 15 to 20 minutes and you don't have to pay hefty fees to consultants for this. It's really easy to do on your own and for your convenience, I've created a detailed video where I've demonstrated the steps to follow on each page on the IRCC website how to create a profile as a single person and with your spouse and showed exactly what to fill in each section of your forms as well so you're not confused at any stage. To have a look at that detailed video and you'll be able to find out all the necessary documents, how to create your GC key, how to fill in your forms for applying alone as well as with your spouse and how to successfully create your Express Entry profile with or without your spouse completely for free without the need for any immigration agent or consultant. After you create an Express Entry account and enter all your details, your profile will be picked and you'll get an ITA or an invitation to apply if you meet or exceed the Express Entry draw cutoff for draws that are held every two weeks. Getting an ITA basically means that you'll get the opportunity to upload all your documents and pay your fees for applying for permanent residence. You'll get 60 calendar days after you receive an ITA to submit a complete application which means uploading all your documents and paying your PR fees. Kindly note that these are 60 calendar days and not business days, so it includes weekends and holidays as well. To add to your convenience, if your work permit is about to expire within the next 4 months, you can apply for a bridging open work permit so that you may continue to work in Canada while your PR application is being processed. You won't have to fly back to your home country if your work permit expires, so that's great. If you don't respond to your ITA within 60 days, IRCC will take your profile out of the Express Entry pool and to be considered for future draws, you'll have to fill out a new Express Entry profile. After you submit your complete application, it will be reviewed by IRCC. Immigration officers will now assess the information and documents you provided in your application and you'll receive your COPR or Confirmation of Permanent Residence document if you're approved. If you're outside Canada, you have to carry the COPR document when you fly to Canada and if you're already inside Canada on a work permit, you can approach an officer at a Canadian port of entry or at an IRCC office and they'll sign and date your COPR which you can use to enter Canada. Your PR card will be physically mailed to your registered address on a later date. If you've included your spouse and children in your application, they'll receive their COPR at the same time as you. Alright guys, so that was how you could get your PR under the CEC process. For more immigration and travel tips, subscribe to this channel now. Do like this video if you like the content and comment what topic you would like to hear about next. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.